Anyway, I am RC Styles. I am joined by Dover Gray, who many of you may know as my nephew. I am not going to drop a name. Uh, we are doing an arcade classic launch, believe it or not. Yes, a launch for arcade classics. Who would have fucking thought? Reason being, on April 30th, we had the release of Streets of Rage 4. Now, Streets of Rage in its entirety was a game that was released in Japan as Final Fight. Streets of Rage being the spin-off of it, the Americanized version of it. Streets of Rage only actually ended up being three titles long on the Sega era, and then when the Sega era ended, unfortunately, so did Streets of Rage. Whereas Final Fight went on into the PlayStation era, here we finally get decades later. And I do believe I used that contents right, because I do believe it's been at least two decades since the last Streets of Rage game has come out, give or take a couple years. Finally, Streets of Rage 4. Cool, back end live, we get to see the intro for this bitch. Axel looking old and haggard. Haggard. <laughs> Anybody who knows this game series knows that reference. And there you have it, Streets of Rage 4. It did show us two of the original. So as you know, this month we are running survival games and escape games, and what better way to really get into that than, you know, the premises behind Streets of Rage was to, to survive the Streets of Rage, so very simplistic, but we're going to go with it. Please don't be a fucked up remake. simple controls just like the Genesis days okay it does look like they're trying to incorporate all the buttons here you may recognize that character from the Final Fight series like I was just saying I believe they call him like turtle or some shit here oh, you little bastard God, he's got a beer gut. <laughs> I got a trophy for eating off the ground. Very unsanitary for this time period. Yeah, don't walk onto the person right in front of me. Oh. That shit caught me off guard. The screen started rumbling because there was a train passing in the background. That's pretty cool. Ooh, okay. Break my combo, will ya? Oh 
them all. This is almost too easy. So is that next level huh? Well, I'm playing it casually too. I'm not really like fucking button mashing or super grinding with it. That has every bit of the feel of the old Genesis version. Just way mo graphically modernized, but I think they could have done better because right now the graphics look kind of comic booky. It kind of looks like uh, Streets of Rage meets Comic Zone. Not quite, because even old Street Fighter had a little bit over this. I got a viewer right now. Uh, what do you think about the uh, Streets of Rage? Man, fuckhead. Okay, that was cool, uh, ish. It's got that feel it usually does when you come into a boss. There he is. Oh, I should have probably stayed right where I was. That dude had a bad day. Ooh, I didn't realize I was standing on something.
Yeah, this is definitely old school Streets of Rage with an upgrade. Oh, so what I fought earlier wasn't the boss. It was just a mini boss. Okay. No shit. Oh, bitch. Okay, how do I use the star? And there it is, apparently. Woo! Nice. It's all good. Y'all can come out now. Bitches be dead. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Keep in mind that one day you'll be able to tell your grandkids with three grandchildren that you survived the toilet paper shortage of 2020. Toilet paper apocalypse 2020! We all lost our fucking minds! <laughs>